Yeah, this is the edge of the central hill of the place, which is a drum line. You can see it tapering down to the water. There's an old vernal stream, salamander corridor. This looks like it might be the switchback trail that goes down to the gazebo. Oh, this is good timing. Just up on that trail, which I think is the main drumlin circuit. We jumped onto this because I'm trying to find the oldie gazebo. Oh, it's a leopard frog. Thanks, Mr. Leopard Frog. We'll get out of your hair. <laughs> that might be a pickerel frog. It's one of the small, mid-sized. Huh? We're here. Battery issues. Up oh, there's the gazebo. And it looks like it's in reasonably good shape. And having found the old gazebo, 
far older than I am. It's got the perfect weathered look that I myself lack. And from here, we'll follow the Esker. I remember Esker was one of the first surface geology words I learned as a little kid. And this was the example that was mentioned. I've since, of course, learned the term. Esker's everywhere around here. Can't swing a cat in this part of the world without hitting an Esker or two. This is a beach grove. Scurrying chipmunk. I think it makes a gradual switch back. Oh man, there's some major beaver munching. Healthy, doesn't seem to have fragments anyway. breeze is keeping the mosquitoes at bay. So the path makes a kind of switch back and then follows the Esker. Esker top, having examined some beaver activity and the broader expanse of the marsh. We'll now figure out the way forward. I believe this is the South Esker. There are two Esker trails.
And then one side of the thing, almost having a bushwhack experience. A strange little vernacular spiritual. Yes. And this is a continuation of the Esker. I haven't heard one yet. <laughs> 